Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with group frequency distributions, uh, is going to concentrate on uh, what is a box and whiskers plot, or what is a box and whisker plot. Uh, it's also known as a five point, a five point summary, okay? Uh, with respect to five particular statistics, okay, uh, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just actually list the important, the important points, okay, from a five-point summary perspective, uh, the important, the important uh, statistics, okay, the statistics uh, that are that are captured, that are captured, captured uh, within within a box and whiskers whiskers plot okay uh, in no particular order there is a natural ordering associated with these particular statistics but maybe I'll list them down in no particular order uh, the first statistic that's really important that's captured within a box and whiskers plot is what's known as the median okay so the median uh, is captured in there the other thing that's captured is what's known as the first the first quartile okay the first quartile Okay. Uh, the next thing that's captured is the third quartile. The third quartile. Actually, just keep in mind that the median, by definition, is what's known as the second. Is it's is the the second quartile uh, is what's known as the median the median value. Okay. So we have the median, the first quartile, the third quartile. Uh, we have a the lower bound. We have a lower bound demarcation point. Let's just call this uh, a lower bound. A lower bound outlier 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 whisker okay let's just say okay uh, this is a point along the scale that any values less than it are demarcated or are classified to be what's known as outliers lower bound outliers uh, and then we have what's known as an upper bound an upper bound uh, outlier outlier whisker okay outlier whisker okay so let's just try to uh, let's just try to uh, plot one of these uh, this is this particular video isn't actually applying it okay it's just looking at a specific a specific uh, implementation so let's keep in mind that uh, when we do an experiment okay uh, when we do an experiment an experiment okay we typically measure a number of variables okay we we typically we typically okay measure measure uh, a variable okay and that variable we're going to we're just going to consider has a is on a particular scale okay so this is on on a scale okay so the variable is on a scale and let's just say that the variable ranges from very very small values it could the answers to the question are these are very small values here very small observations values okay and these are very large values, very large uh, observations or, or values, okay? And the important thing about the box and whiskers plot is this is, and by definition, the median is the point along the scale. And don't forget, we have observations. We have observations that are listed along this particular scale, okay? So we have observations that are listed along this particular scale, okay? So we have particular observations that are listed upon this along the scale. Uh, and the median, by definition, is the point along the scale, okay? Uh, that splits the data set up into two equal portions, where we have the same number of observations less than the median uh, as the number of observations greater than the median so for example if this particular if this was the data set where these are small values down here and these are larger values up here in other words that the values are ordered the values that we've captured for the variable are ordered from smallest to largest uh, the median would be the point along here that cuts this data set in half okay and uh, let's see how many observations we have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have eleven observations uh, so the point that would cut this in half is let's say we cross off these two these two these two these two observations these two observations and what we end up with is we end up with a point in the middle here okay at uh, this point in the middle okay at that particular observation is what's known as the median this is the median value okay 
the first quartile is when we consider the first half of the data set okay uh, and we ask okay what point along that particular what point along here okay with respect to this half of the data set okay uh, cuts that particular portion of the data set in half well how many values have we got in this half of the data set we have one two three four five we have we, let's say we have we have six values in that half of the data set so the value that's going to cut the data set in half well let's let's triangulate off we're going to cross off this value with this this value with this this value with this so actually the value that cuts it in half must be halfway between these two values here okay so let's just put another line down here that's halfway between them two values that value would be the first the first quartile